hello guys uh, so today i'm going to do uh, is a simple forensics analysis using uh, thumbs db thumbs caches so for that uh, this is my forensics lab uh, i have set up in my windows server virtual machine so is uh, this virtual uh, this uh, forensics lab includes some tools to do uh, this uh, forensics analysis so guys uh, before that uh, and other thing is uh, i'll show you how to enable thumbnail in uh, windows and uh, how to analyze these uh, thumbs db using uh, forensic analysis tool so guys uh, we need uh, this windows file analyzer to do this uh, forensic analyze to analyze a uh, thumbs db so you can uh, this is a free, uh, freely available one you can download it from uh, google so before that uh, I'm going to show I'm going to uh, this picture normally sometimes uh, you cannot see this thumbnail in a uh, thumbnail is in uh, Windows so simply you need to guys uh, go to uh, in Windows 7 uh, go to folders and uh, go to views and you need to uh, remove this tick in uh, this uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8 so if it is uh, like this you need to remove it apply and press ok so if it is a uh, tick uh, like this that's mean uh, see you cannot see thumbnails in uh, these pictures so you need to go to folder view and un uncheck this uh, checkbox and apply and press ok so guys uh, in the windows uh, 10 uh, normally uh, we can uh, do that uh, like that one uh, like this and uh, normally in windows 10 go to control panel uh, type system go to view advanced system settings go to advanced and under performance you need to go to settings but in here with these windows 7 machine so in windows 10 you can see in this area in this checkbox area there is a checkbox uh, called show thumbs caches uh, thumbs nails in uh, thumbs nails so you need to tick if it is uh, unchecked you need to uh, put a tick then you apply and press ok yeah that's about windows 10 uh, and windows 7 and windows 8 you, you can do it through folder search options so go to views and uncheck this box and apply and press ok so guys uh, i'm going to do that analyze so normally uh, in windows uh, windows xp is a thumbs db but uh, but uh, it's a uh, uh, in a, now it's change is converting to uh, thumb caches uh, in windows xp is a uh, uh, thumbs db but it's uh, eventually it's uh, convert into uh, thumbs caches so guys uh, you if you need to find that uh, thumbs caches thumbs db uh, you need to go to uh, uh, in a c5 and uh, another thing is uh, you need to guys uh, uh, show hidden files you need to apply this show hidden files then you, you need to go to user then you need to get to your username you know and go to app data and local and go to microsoft then windows then explorer so guys uh, you can see you can see a lot of the uh, thumbs caches thumbs dbs in your uh, windows 10 uh, machine this is a virtual machine this include only uh, little uh, caches thumbs dbs so you can uh, get it from here and if you want to uh, search you can uh, simply type thumbs db okay so guys uh, now i'm going to start that analyze using a windows file analyzer go to files go to analyze thumbs uh, thumbnail database windows xp because i use this windows xp this uh, because is uh, uh, i got this uh, thumbs db from uh, windows xp open okay you can see guys uh, i got it from a uh, picture folder 
these are the common uh, features in uh, windows you can see we can find a uh, file name and uh, timestamp uh, when uh, these files were created the time and and the date so these are the details uh, that can find uh, from that using thumbnail uh, db analyze thumbs db and uh, the main thing is guys uh, if this uh, this picture uh, deleted but in here we can uh, see it we can find this picture if this uh, find uh, this uh, uh, picture this if this this one this picture if they deleted but using this uh, thumbs db we can uh, get that this that's the forensics analysis normally uh, we can uh, get uh, history from uh, google chrome uh, internet explorer using that uh, thumbs uh, dbs thumbs caches we can get uh, history details that's how to do uh, forensics analysis uh, using this uh, windows file analyzer to uh, thumbs db you can see this uh, xp1 so guys uh, this is a simple one so this is how to do analyze uh, thumbs db using uh, windows file analyzer so i hope you guys now you have a better idea how to do it so guys uh, thank you for watching this video please hit the subscribe button and please hit like button and uh, please comment and share sir. so thank you guys uh, for watching this video thank you hello guys today i'm going to do another uh, forensics analysis using a uh, windows file analyzer so guys uh, to do that you need the uh, windows file analyzer tool uh, you can download it from uh, uh, google this uh, tool windows file analyzer and this is my windows 7 virtual machine this is my uh, forensics lab this uh, lab includes in uh, some tools to do forensics analysis so guys uh, you need uh, info2 file to do this uh, analysis that means uh, recycle bin analysis i'm going to analyze recycle bin so you can find this uh, this info2 file from windows xp so on windows xp that files uh, are stored in the recycle folder under the user's specific uh, uh, user id that is id and uh, there is also an uh, info2 file which uh, contains an uh, index of all the files that have been deleted and uh, along with some uh, metadata about the recycle files and this uh, this uh, info2 file will contain the original path file size and when the file was deleted this file include this info2 file let's analyze this uh, windows info2 file using windows file analyzer go to this window file analyzer and go to files go to uh, analyze recycle bin and guys please watch my previous video that's video i'll show you how to analyze thumbs db in uh, windows xp using this windows file analyzer now i'm going to analyze this recycle bin uh, press open this is the info2 file you can find it from that i already said that you can find it from here there and uh, I'm going to open it. Okay, guys, you can see this uh, Windows uh, Recycle Bin uh, uh, Info2 file. This in Info2 file include that uh, that original file path and the size and when the file was deleted. You can see file sizes, the deleted date, and file names. That uh, you can see that file name is test. And uh, you can see the file extension also jpg this is uh, image one and uh, you can see that uh, size this is the dates when that uh, file was uh, files were deleted uh, so guys uh, this is how to analyze these uh, windows uh, info2 file using windows file analyzer recycle bin analysis using windows file analyzer you, uh, the thing is uh, if that user deleted uh, from that uh, date uh, that files from the recycle bin but we can find it in from here the path path and the file type and the file name and the deleted date and the sizes so guys how this is how to analyze the uh, recycle bin uh, using windows file analyzer and uh, 
this is the uh, way so thank you guys uh, watching this video I hope this video is uh, very useful for you and uh, you have now idea how to analyze recycle bin using Windows file analyzer so guys uh, thank you very much for watching this video thank you hello guys today I'm going to do another uh, forensics analysis using my Windows uh, Seven virtual forensics lab machines so this machine includes some forensics tool so guys uh, today I'm going to use uh, win uh, prefetch view forensics tool to do uh, analyze Windows prefetch files so guys uh, actually you can access to this uh, Windows uh, prefetch file use go to Windows and go to you can see this prefetch folder uh, double click it but guys uh, I have already access to this uh, prefetch folder that's why I didn't ask admin access but uh, if you uh, access to this uh, first time then it asks that uh, admin access to this prefetch file so guys uh, but open this, in this uh, folder we cannot uh, see a lot of details only name date modified type and file sizes but guys is using that prefetch uh, win, win prefetch uh, view we can uh, get a run count how many time access to that uh, uh, software and uh, uh, last access date the modified date every detail we can see you can uh, these are freely available software you can download it from uh, Google now I'm going to run this uh, min prefetch view okay guys as you can see that uh, file name and uh, created time modified time and the file sizes and the process then the process path and the run counter and that uh, I already said that last run time we can see uh, how many times that run how many times run, run that software and uh, the last run time that software and these are the other softwares like uh, the full path for the, that uh, software and uh, device path and the indexes so these are the details include that uh, inside that windows prefetch files uh, using this win prefetch view we can uh, find these details how this is how to analyze these prefetch files uh, softwares uh, inside the windows using win prefetch view so guys uh, this is all the, about this uh, video and uh, this is how to analyze this prefetch files using win prefetch view so guys uh, this is how to analyze this file prefetch files so guys uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, please comment and please subscribe my youtube channel and please watch my previous video how to analyze thumbs db and how to analyze uh, recycle bin using uh, other tools windows file analyzer tool and uh, this is the end of this video so guys thank you thank you for watching this video thank you okay guys today i'm going to do another forensics analysis uh, using hex editor i'm going to analyze uh, do a file signature analysis using this uh, hex editor tool uh, you can download it from uh, google using using google uh, as you actually is a freely available uh, software freely available tool so guys uh, you can uh, analyze uh, different type of files like jbg like image files a uh, pdf uh, word files you can analyze different type of files uh, using this hex editor tool so i'm going to analyze uh, this analyze uh, image using this hex editor so okay guys today we uh, i'm going to do a file signature analysis uh, i'm going to open this uh, jpg file double click it is saying like uh, windows photo viewer cannot open this picture because of the the file appears to be damaged corrupted or or is too large so guys uh, i'm going to analyze this uh, image file the, I, we need to find this what is this what is the wrong with this uh, image file go to hex edit and go to files go to open i'm going to open this uh, file okay guys as you can see guys uh, you can see some hex values and bytes values uh, we can change a different uh, type and in here also so these uh, you can see these few bytes uh, the first few bytes are allocated for the 
file signature hexadecimal values you can see uh, I am going to highlight this these bytes it's highlighting in here also uh, after this uh, percentage uh, uh, mark uh, you can see this is the file signature actually we opened that uh, image file but it is saying uh, it is a PDF file so I'm gonna highlight it again you can see it is highlighting here also so guys uh, but we need to find out uh, actually what is this uh, uh, image file or a PDF so guys uh, I'm going to copy these uh, first few bytes copy and uh, you can uh, go, uh, get this uh, file signature uh, list of the file signatures PDF uh, from Google is a free available one Wikipedia I'm going to search that uh, value okay uh, you need to change for that type okay guys you can see after in here uh, 25 50 44 and 46 this is the value you can see in, it is highlighted it is a PDF one you can uh, in here you can see the file extension this is the, the column that uh, file extension it is a PDF so guys uh, you can download it from uh, Google now I'm going to see you can see 25 50 44 uh, 46 this is the that value now I'm going to uh, change this extension into PDF okay now I'm going to open it we can open it so guys actually it's open uh, in uh, Google Chrome uh, because I don't have Adobe uh, Adobe Reader that open to that uh, PDF so this is a file signature PDF you can see so guys uh, this analyze uh, uh, files here uh, files using uh, hex editor to find a file signature this is a file signature analysis so guys this is the end of this video so I hope you guys have a, have a, an idea how to do the do a file signature using hex editor so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel please comment and share so thank you guys I'm going to get a dump value dump memory in this uh, uh, infected machine so this is a dump it uh, software dump it tool you need this dump it tool to get this dump value uh, go to command prompt uh, go to this uh, folder this uh, inside this uh, dump it folder uh, this is my path to this folder uh, dump it and I'm going to run this dump it exe file it's asked why continue you need to press uh, Y it is processing you can see the image file it's take some time don't do the anything after pop up uh, successful in uh, this command prompt we need to wait for that so uh, guys you can get uh, malwares uh, some free malwares I'll show you some website after the video after do this video is success so now we can get this uh, dumb uh, value you can uh, copy it to your pen drive you don't you no need to worry this uh, it's not infected your uh, pen drive because this is an image file so I'm gonna rename it to this Tilina so I'll show you what are the available uh, malware uh, 
malicious sample for uh, in free like, uh, you need you can type where can I get malware samples and uh, go to in this link and uh, you can see malware sample sources for researchers you can get it in here here, here also these are some uh, sites you can get freely available uh, I'll show you uh, some other sites also uh, you can get uh, mal code uh, you need to give that zero malcode.com is another site site you can get uh, other samples uh, uh, your database you can uh, search what are the malwares include that uh, site so these uh, so uh, let's see what are the others malware this one the malware domain list.com you can get these in here also what are the malwares inside that include the freely available malware domain list you can say search what are the uh, malware inside this uh, website okay guys uh, today I'm going to do uh, forensic analysis attack so in this activity I'm going to do how to find GPS location target image so now I'm going to uh, open uh, first target target image okay so actually first we need a uh, safe reader software to do this activity so you can see this information the apple iphone the whatever the device took this image and uh, make apple model iphone 4 and uh, date time every details but i'm um, today i'm going to show how to find gps location that targeted image in here you can see GPS information GPS latitude GPS longitude before move to this I'm going to tell the differences between latitude and longitude so the latitude specifies a location's distance north or south of the equator and the longitude specifies the location's distance east or west so and the main thing is in here uh, we need to think the plus and minus positive or negative the mean the that mean is uh, east and west of the prime meridian so a negative latitude means south of the equator and a negative longitude mean west of the prime meridian the other side the positive latitude means uh, north and a positive longitude mean east so now I'm going to show how to find GPS location in here you, you need to use uh, DMS coordinates I'm going to use uh, online GPS coordinate converter so in here you no need to choose uh, plus or minus because uh, you can choose here north east or south or west I'm going to use DMS so in here 48 49 north east uh, 48 49 north oops sorry north uh, 48 and uh, 49 and 38.40 38.40 and 
लॉन्गिट्यूड ईस्ट टू सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी एंड फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट फोर जीरो फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट फोर जीरो दिस इज द टारगेट लोकेशन You can see so actually if we uh, not choose that uh, negative and positive the target location is wrong we have to correctly uh, select that uh, latitude and longitude this is the target location okay uh now i'm going to do uh, another activity before do it uh, we have to clear clear these details okay uh i'm going to choose another target target 2 okay you can see is here image these are the informations uh the whatever the device took this uh, that image apple iphone and the date time and the gps information in here you can see north and a west west mean actually a negative longitude prime meridian is a negative north uh, plus west negative so i'm going to use the uh, now uh, dms uh 366 not the uh, 36 and a 6 and 4680 not 80 sorry 80 and we have to select west uh 115 10 115 10 okay i'm going to select uh, type uh, 21.8060 21.60 21.60 okay you can see here the minus value and the plus value this is the target location so this is the way to how to find that gps uh, location using exif reader so now i think uh, i hope you can uh, do this activity uh forensics analysis activity and uh, please uh, like my videos and uh, comment and share please subscribe my channel so thank you hello guys today i'm going to do another forensics investigation tutorial for that uh, you need uh, exif read tool so i'm going to you using that tool i'm going to find out the location i got to that uh, image file so so guys uh, you can download it in google from uh, from google is a very available, available tool so i'm going to open it i'm drag and drop in here so guys uh, if you want to enlarge that image view that image you can view it and uh, i'm going to get the details the the, the whatever the device that uh, took that image is apple and iphone 11 and the date and time you can see in here so guys uh, i'm going to find out the location uh, normally you guys know the north the near latitude and the longitude there is a method that that uh, if it is a north is a plus if it is south is a, a negative and the north is a positive south is south is a negative east is a uh, positive west is a negative so these are both uh, latitude and the longitude is uh, positive 
so guys uh, you know normally they have uh, uh, degrees minutes and seconds so I got into that uh, I'm going to find out the location for that uh, you know that uh, that you tell longitude are measured degrees minutes and seconds uh, there are 60 seconds in the in a minute and 60 minutes in the degree latitude uh, values uh, range from 0 degree to 90 and either north of or south so the north pole is latitude 90 degrees degrees and north is north the south pole 90 degrees south uh, you need to keep this in mind so according to that uh, i'm going to convert in convert to the, this one to decimal so guys uh, i'm going to give these uh, these values first uh, latitude so the value is 6 according to that 1 6 55 and uh, 54.95 54.95 so now i'm going to give uh, longer dude 79 79 50 79 50 then we need to give 41.7 41.7 you need to convert it so guys uh, now we need to copy and paste in here these both values are positive so an example if it is negative you need to put a minus mark in here so if this value is negative then you need to put a minus value minus in here if this one is negative you need to put minus in here so guys uh, now we need to search yes let's click this one this is the place that uh, Hilton Hotel that uh, the where the that photo took so guys uh, this is how to find out the location using a SIF tool I hope you guys have an idea then now how to get that uh, location using a SIF route uh, according to that image so guys uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, please subscribe my youtube channel and uh, please comment and share so thank you guys